Taurus, welcome. A special heart spread reading. I'm going to call it a timeless reading. I'm going to go uh, introverted with this one. And instead of uh, looking at you and the person on your mind or your other the other person, let's look at you and your anima or animus. You know, the Jungian concept uh, of the anima and animus that gets uh, projected. Everything unconscious gets projected into uh, reality and we call it fate, you know, he said. So <clears throat> it's interesting because I, I went to heart spread, look at the self and the other anyway, normally, just to look at, you know, romantically normally. But here, they sometimes put the higher self, you know, anything can go here in terms of asking spirit about that relationship. So here I want to look at kind of where we're at in terms of uh, our own seventh house, anima, animus, are we aware of it? That uh, masculine energy that's projected uh, by feminine energy, vice versa, doesn't have anything to do if you're gay, I mean, you're going to pick one or another. <laughs> It, it's really about whatever we perceive that we need or don't have within ourselves, I think, you know. Um, so we'll see as we go along. We'll get some example of this. And um, but remember here as we're looking in the number two position, I've already pre-shuffled. Um, we're looking at your own anima animus projection. So this is not your other person's uh, internal special timeless read. Um, for Taurus energy this week here in November. It's big energy week. We're moving up to this uh, uh, big um, lunar eclipse, okay? Now, Nine of Pentacles. This is very good energy to come into this with. This is kind of where you're at in terms of uh, uh, manifestation, spirituality, um, love and relationship energy. Um, this will be someone that's uh, very, you could, it could indicate being single, but I think it indicates mostly being really solid. Like you've really done the work, you're kind of like a master, uh, because this is speaking now to your spirituality, your, how you're feeling about manifestation right now in your life, where you're at on your soul's path. And, you know, this would speak to someone that's well aligned, you know, uh, not to blow smoke up your ass, but... You know, you've been doing the work for a while. Uh, you're feeling pretty solid about it. Um, this speaks to someone that doesn't really need a lot of help from other people, even like in terms of spiritual help. So, I mean, you naturally could be someone that then does help other people because um, you're more mature. You know, it's almost like a queen of pentacles energy comes with it. And here, Taurus is, I, I swear to God, there was the last Taurus reading I did. It ended up with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, but this is Jupiter energy, guys. Um, so you have to think right now that this speaks to um, Jupiter. Um, if you were Gemini rising, be perfect. Um, well, that may not be the case. But it speaks to something about uh, Jupiter in the natal charts in Aquarius now, like 23 degrees, I think. Um, so we have to see where that is for you and your natal charts. My sixth house, and I get it, because Saturn's there too. And keep in mind, Saturn's there too. Whatever house is in, very most likely, not necessarily, it could, you know, depends. Uh, but very most likely, Saturn's there with it. But Jupiter's hauling ass now, and it's heading towards Pisces. Um, so in terms of your uh, manifestation and your anima animus projection here, and how you're relating to it spiritually. Um, this could be really going for it. You know, this could be like a, a thing from buying a lot of tickets. And you just buy one because you know it's like not, you know, you're going to win or you're not going to win. And, um, and some kind of feeling um, that of um, you are uh, been at it a while. You're stable. You're not like a kid. You're not wild-eyed or... Uh, uh, needy or something like this um, but you just kind of maybe have a feeling deep down like something good is coming your way and it is karma season that's a big theme so one way or another karma's just you know energy it's it's often good quote unquote good you know even bad sometimes is good and sometimes good is bad there's uh, uh stories about that <laughs> um but um you know, I kind of like this. It's a little bit exciting. I want to see where it's going, I think. 
Three of Pentacles. Look at this Pentacles, Taurus. And you know, Nine of Pentacles, I just realized, I mean, that could just represent a Taurus, male or female. Um, I get the feeling like a single Taurus. It could just be you're single minded, you're spiritually focused, uh, you're solid in your spiritual focus. And, uh, you know, you're you're not a neophyte, you know, you're uh, someone that's um, been doing this for a while and you're mature and you know what you're doing here. And it's because of you've been doing this work. Now, this shows normally the relationship of how you're feeling towards your uh, person here. But here, this is your anima anima. So I feel like this means you've been putting the work into it. This is the good work. The fine craftsman does the best work. It's a very positive card. Hands on. Uh, the difference here with this Nine of Pentacles to like a, a Queen of Pentacles, um, this is personal energy. This is someone, this has been hard won. If we're speaking here really of your spiritual path, it could blend into your physical path. It's all the same. <laughs> There's like, not like this table is not spiritual. Uh, but, um, you know, you've been doing the work um, for probably some period of time, doing like really good work. So there's every reason to think that that's the case. And it looks like that's the case. Then when this comes in, this uh, gift, Jupiterian gift, you could call it, uh, it's your Jupiter return year, then woot, woot, woot for you guys. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. <laughs> uh, King of Cups. Now, this is meant to express how your other person is reacting to you, but here we have your anima or animus uh, figure. And I think I see here what I've seen so far with these readings. Um, I think a lot of times here we see what actually comes into us in terms of our uh, projection. Now, uh, if in, in well, our anima or animus, it, what it is we're really looking for in terms of a lover, ultimately, like, you know, the ultimate man, the ultimate woman, whatever that is for anyone. Um, and we're getting this Cancerian personality, just, or could just be water, you know, uh, queer, uh, Pisces or Scorpio energy too with this, um, and so this is going to be like a response to something that we don't kind of have ourselves. And here, there's a lot of emphasis on being stable and being strong. Um, this could be a Taurus has like a Aquarius moon or something. Um, but there's, I don't see a lot of feelings here. But you know, here comes where your, your projection kind of how, well, you got to look at how it's feeling about you. And what's that mean? Um... <clears throat> You're projecting out this kind of energy. So likely you're getting that back, you know, very nurturing people, maybe just literally like cancer energy. And I think when I look at this now, what I think of is, you know, I have a cancer moon. So what's going on with cancer in your chart? Okay. Um, it's uh, somewhere, you know, in your chart and you're going to have planets there um, or significant uh, energy there um, in cancer. Like cancer rising can be really powerful in terms of how you express cancer energy. I've noticed that with my girlfriend's like, wow, that's the only cancer she really has, and it's like so strong. Um, so there's something there going on, probably like in your own chart. This could be a progressed chart energy, definitely uh, more probably around the moon here, but also with the sun, you got the king of cups. Um, but I think this is talking to the nature of uh, what you might be getting here and from Jupiter and, and or Saturn. You know, Saturn gives gifts. I just say because Saturn's there too. You know, it's probably in the same house. It's something to do with that house. Um, but often it's opportunities. Um, and this could be, you know, if you're looking for like a heart opening or uh, being able to uh, be vulnerable again and open your heart again, if you've been a little... Sometimes to get into this Nine of Pentacles energy, you got to close up a little bit, take care of business. And if you're looking for that, then that could be what this is. It, it's uh, responding to you like that's here or coming. You're opening like that. Now, this is uh, your energy spirit suggesting that you consider this in relation to normally your other person. But here again, your own animal or animus energy.
So we read that differently. But again, we have water energy, emotions finally here. This is in the suggestions of spirit now. Um, and I got to see this below the three of pentacles is drop into your feelings, drop into your feelings. And it's not a thing like, oh my God, drop into your feelings or die. It's just like, this is how it, the alignment will become better. Um, and this is how you align yourself with this opportunity or gift that's coming in for you. Um, and, and this very much could be some internal reading. This could be like some ultimate realization, some profound insight, uh, some something that it, uh, gives you a sense of integration that's profound somehow. And that can change your life as much or more than anything, no? Now, but the moon, though, applies something's unseen, so... There's that too. So let's see what's over here. It might speak to what's unseen. The Three of Wands. Yeah, okay, see. Wow, so heavy. Coming under this King of Cups. Um, there's with you, I think, a lot of stability here. Uh, but there's a part of you you really want uh, to, something a little wild, to take a chance. Um, to see what's on the other side. To see where if the grass is greener. Also, just to open up and, and like explore, take chances, um, be kind of childlike, and I think that might directly speak to what you're not seeing here, because that's what the moon's going to represent. It's something like emotional, and what you might see is there's like this emotional need to kind of do this, to kind of bust out sometimes, you know, and have fun. And not just have fun, just joy, just experience joy in life. And that's a very joyful card too. But this particular deck, the Guild of Terra Royale. I mean, you see here, it's just nothing but opportunity presented here, Taurus. You know, but uh, you got you leave the reservation and go when you get have this in the world. Now coming between the, the moon and the, the three of uh, the two of wands here is the uh, world card wow now this is advice from spirit normally for the relationship as a whole well it is for your internal relationship with your own anima animus projection okay which is a part of your own soul's path here we see if we don't take control of it uh, people experiences come into our lives uh, to address it uh, whatever it is in some way I think it's something about opening, being more emotional, being more vulnerable. And maybe speaking to someone saying, that doesn't make sense. I'm plenty vulnerable, but maybe not, you know. Um, and uh, this offer from the universe being the, the crux of the heart spread here, um, the core of the heart spread, I always take it very seriously. It's saying that this will be like a leveling up here. And maybe, literally, like this, maybe it's saying that you're on the verge of starting this amazing adventure, and it's going to come in with some kind of opportunity for you for adventure, guys. And I'm talking about real adventure, but it also could be of a spiritual nature, too. Um, like how this could come in. Um, you get an offer to come uh, be a guest speaker at a yoga retreat in Costa Rica, and they say, well, We'll foot you the bill if you come on down. As little as that, or as big as that, as it could be. Um, some kind of opportunity that puts you into a place in this kind of alignment, like with your soul's purpose. And you'll probably be drawn to this, Taurus, because it'll feel right to you with this king of cups over the two of wands. You'll have this strong feeling like, you know, it's for you. Remember, this is a, oh, you're over here with your three of pentacles. And this is your own anima or animus getting back to you and responding emotionally. So it's like an emotional feeling. Like there's something emotional you need. Maybe it's something to do with the emotions or retreat or something like that. Um, now, Seven of Wands. And this is coming over the world. So Taurus, um, this is going to involve you making a big change, you leveling up. This is going to shake a lot of people around you, depending on how your social structure is and how tight everything is and what's going on exactly. When you get the world, it is cool. I mean, you're really leveling up. It's, it's, it's incredible. But, you know, they say even really good change is stressful. 
And this is you as an outcome ending up having to really assert yourself and defend your castle. So keep that in mind as you go forward. Um, you'll be defending the castle here. Um, and I think it, it'll be because you're actually doing something that puts you into a real alignment, you know, with uh, your soul's purpose. I think you begin to take conscious, if you're not already, uh, control of your anima animus projection and your manifesting. And um, I think that basically this is going to just ruffle feathers and you're just going to be in a position, you're going to, this is not like beating anybody up. This is, you're going to be asserting yourself and asserting boundaries, asserting yourself and asserting boundaries. And could even be spiritually, you know, even emotionally. It doesn't necessarily mean anybody's coming banging on your door. You know, it's just, uh, it could be with spirit. If you're, say, you're a medium, you know, uh, and you say, you know, I'm sorry, I'm off right now, I'm off duty, and you figure out how to uh, create that uh, uh, wall, how to create that block, whatever ritual is needed for you uh, to do that. So do me a favor, Taurus, let me know if that resonates in any way. I hope that's helpful, a little bit deeper level. Uh, than just your normal heart spread read. We'll go back to next week uh, with the normal heart spread reads again with your other person. Uh, do give me a like, thumbs up if you appreciate it, and uh, maybe uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell. Thank you, guys.